Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am on Orion RSPS. Now this is a 2006 RSPS, so not a lot of RSPS like this are around, which makes this very unique. Now this is a new 2006 server with some never seen before RSPS content. Also all players do get an 8x XP rate, so yeah, it's pretty much... Um, 2006 RSPI is just a bit faster and easier. Now this server has some unique content such as a guild system which I'll go over right now. Now players can form a guild up to 8 players so if you go to this um, right here you can actually see I am in a guild right here which is creativity. We have 8 members in the guild as you can see if there is a star you are online so there are 5 players online right now. As you can see I have my own account as well but I am playing on this account because this guy was friendly enough to lend me his account for this video so I can show off some other really cool features. Now as you can see you have a bunch of skills you can train in your guild and then you can um, of course level up these skills and then you can go to your top guilds to see which one is a top. As you can see our guild is in 4th place with 283 total level so yeah we are almost 100 levels behind the first guild which is super overpowered as you can see it has like 370 total level but then again if we grind hard enough we will get there eventually. Now playing with a guild means you level your guilds level 2 which unlocks bonuses as you progress through tiers. So tier for 1 bonuses all the way up to tier 5 bonuses. Um, they also have their own high scores as you can see right here so yeah that's pretty nice and it's incredible competitive um, especially as if you know that it has only been released since last weekend so yeah that means in only one week you have all these guilds and they are pretty competitive as you can see right there. Now the development team are also constantly working on many more guild related minigames and futures to really make this as unique as possible. On top of that they are adding a bunch of skilling and PVM related content as well as futures to make bossing a bigger future as well. So yeah that's really great that they are working on all that. Also like the complete guild system is amazing because it brings the community so much closer to each other. So yeah that's really nice. Right now I am just waiting until a guild war will start and then I can show you guys that future as well. Alright, so as you can see the guild war event is starting in 5 minutes. You have to speak to the event host in Edgeville to join. This is a safe event so um, your items will not be lost on death. So right now I just joined and I will have to wait here until the event starts. Alright, so here we go. The guild war is starting. I will start off by special attacking. Let's go for the lowest one first here. And um, yeah, I'll have to go to the prayer as well, maybe pray up and... Uh, wait, what? Oh, I'm already dead? Oh, no way! Oh, well, uh, I, I sh should have prayed probably and maybe did my best and... Uh, God damn it, so I suck and I died so far, but last month standing, let's see if my guild can win or not. Let's actually have a look who's here, so Tamzai, Skips, Blurry and Gontu, let's see. Um, blurry is here. Oh, blurry is dead, and oh, our guild lost. God damn it. Well, um, there we go. We got ourselves three rewards, though. So let me just drop these manta rays real quick. We got ourselves 50,000 cash, um, amulet of power, and uncut ruby, which isn't the best, but still could be worse. Now, guilds also have a vault, which, um, yeah, as you can see right here which is basically a shared bank for everyone in the guild. Members can deposit items and gold from their guild loader, uh, leader and deputy leader to distribute. It really helps to bring the community all closer to each other. And um, we've seen the community really pull together here which, uh, with, for instance, one person fishing, another cooking, and one person farming, and another herbing, and fletching, and so on and so on. So yeah, this is a really nice system. As you can see, we have 167,000 GP in the vault right here. So yeah, that's pretty nice as well. And there is also Guild Wars. Probably the one piece of content our community really rallies behind after six hours. Um, there is a guild versus guild war which any guild can join and fight in a land of uh, in a lost man standing uh, style event the top three guilds receive a prize so yeah all the guilds really come together and have a war which is really nice now there are also guild skilling tournaments as mentioned before you can level some skills with your guild mining woodcutting fishing runecrafting and so on each Friday to Sunday is a guild skilling tournament where the team who farms the most XP wins a boost to some of their tier rewards for the week. 
each kill has an individual competition so yeah you can basically get a boost for slayer woodcutting experience or resources um, if you make sure you are in the uh, top three of the um, skilling guild competition now besides all that cool stuff which is with this guild which brings the community really close there are also over 30 coded quests which are amazing although you can skip longer quests by paying some um, GP even the donators can uh, skip those quests for free um, there still are 30 quests that you will be able to do and um, yeah so on that is pretty cool in my opinion you also have four game modes that you can actually choose once you create your account right now i am on a normal account but you can also make an iron man hardcore iron man or ultimate iron man so there is a good iron man community as well now the grand exchange is also something right here and i haven't seen this in a 2006 server before so yeah there's actually a working grand exchange for example if you look for let's say a dragon scimitar uh, if i can type at least uh, or dragon bones whatever as you can see you can actually buy yourself the dragon bones if you confirm it but yeah of course there needs to be an offer in, and uh, 1gp probably won't do it it's a great future and it is completely bug free they have tested this for quite a while so yeah definitely really nice now right here is betty and betty gives you the wildy slayer uh, task so yeah this is fully coded the wildy slayer tasks give more rewards and you can use them to buy infinity the mage armor infinity as you can see once you go ahead and trade her uh, i guess i'll have to watch the yeah slayer shop no the wildy shop as you can see right here and if you value it, it costs 180 wilderness points per piece, so it's quite expensive. Oh, 240 here. So yeah, quite expensive, but definitely worth it. Now, of course, as with every single RSPS, to bring the community closer, there is also a Discord server. I will leave the link to the Discord server down below in the description. Now, a Discord server that is rich in futures, updated ground exchange offers directly to the hashtag, hashtag market channel, so you can see who is selling or buying what in the ground exchange in that channel. You can also see the PvP kills, Iron Man deaths, and much more in the in the Discord channel. So yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, now let me just go over some of the tier rewards. Now for fishing, wood cutting, mining, thieving and rune crafting at tier 1, each member of the guild will be able to claim 50 somewhat random resources from a respective skill once per day by speaking to Sir Gawain at Edgeville, which I'll go to right now. So as you can see right here next to the Edgeville bank you have Sir Gawain and um, you can actually get yourself... Um, oh, I already claimed it, so yeah, but you can claim yourself 50 um, random resources from this person every single day. Now in thieving the reward is jewelry and the amount is 10 instead of 50 and the future is f available only after 6 hours of playtime so you can just make an account and instantly claim your resources. Now for fishing, woodcutting and mining, at tier 2 there is a 5% chance to receive noted resources while skilling so yeah that's pretty nice. At tier 3 that's 10%, at tier 4 that's 20% um, so yeah that's pretty nice here. Then for thieving at tier 2 there is a chance of successfully pickpocketing NPCs raised by 16.6% so the chance of getting uh, punched in the face is just lower. At tier 3 this is 33.3% and at tier 4 it's 50% so yeah that's pretty nice as well. 50% means more XP per hour, more money per hour and uh, less damage of course. Now for rune crafting. There is a 5% chance of getting double runes at tier 2. At tier 3 there is a 10% chance and at tier 4 a 20% chance. And for Slayer then, um, there is a, at a tier 1 there is a Slayer task cancellation cost decrease to 250,000 gold. Um, you also have access to new fruit, free teleports like the Ice Caves, Fremnik Dungeon and Taverly Dungeon. At tier 2, Slayer Task Cancellation cost is decreased to 200,000 GP. You also have access to Brimhaven Dungeon, Waterbirth Island Dungeon. And at tier 3, uh, the cost is uh, decreased to 150,000 and you have the teleport to Smoke Dungeon and Slayer Tower. Now at tier 4, the task is um, the task 
cancellation cost is decreased to 100,000 and at day 5 only to 50,000 so yeah that's pretty nice. Alright so we also have 5 mystery boxes that we will open up right now so let's have a look here if we can get any luck from these and then um, we are getting some coal, rune scimitar, I don't think that's the best reward we can get. 50 anti-poisons and a rune axe like it's not super OP but then think again this is uh, 2006 economic RSPS so this is worth quite a bit um, especially if you view the coal as you can see there that's really nice for scaling. Apparently I got really unlucky on these mystery boxes that I just opened because you can actually get an uncut onyx dragon chain body, you can get a side bunny ears and a ranger set from these mystery boxes. So yeah I got kind of unlucky, these are still the average loots but you can get lucky and get one of these really cool items so um, yeah I got really unlucky there and that's kind of unfortunate. Anyways, this server will be popping soon. It is already, like for the new uh, server, it is actually already popping because during the weekends we reach up to 35 players online and for a brand new server that is actually quite nice. So definitely make sure you join all online to be one of them as well. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video guys. If you guys are a fan of 2006 RSPS, I definitely suggest you to join Orion because like it's the best coded 2006 R RSPS I have seen so far and this guild um, feature that they have is such a good content, so well done. So yeah, definitely make sure you check out on that as well. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you didn't already. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.